the first time anyone said, "Hey, why don't you make a sculpture?" We, we, how'd that? How'd that happen? <clears throat> 1975, and um, I had my own plumbing business by that time. Family, four kids, dogs. Well, we didn't have a cat. Well, yeah, we did have a cat. Well, anyways, um, Nancy and I, we were separated. And I was drinking way too much. And so um, I went on this retreat and it had quite an impact on me. Um, you know, up until that point, like I said, I had a family and a business and people working for me and all that kind of thing, but there was still a great big void, you know, that, and I was trying to fill it with alcohol, which doesn't work. So anyways, um, I went on this retreat and I uh, came back, Nancy and I got back together again, uh, and I wasn't drinking and I was kind of going nuts. And for some reason, I still don't know why, I thought, I got the idea, why don't I carve something? So a buddy of mine um, had done some carving, so he lent me some tools and I got a big hunk of mahogany from him. And I started carving. To me, there's nothing more beautiful than the human body, the human figure. Uh, so I like doing the figure. It's the most difficult thing there is to do. Um, and portraiture is the toughest of all. Um, so, I like doing the figure, uh, it's the greatest challenge. When I was 19 years old, I was dad's helper, he was a plumber, and uh, when he was around the wealthy people, it was, yes Mr. Smith, oh Mr. Smith. Mm -hmm. As a 19 year old young male, I didn't like watching that one bit, you know, so. But then I learned as I got older that he was doing what he had to do, you know, to support the family and that kind of thing. My wife and I had four kids and, um, you know, they insisted on eating and going to school and getting married and all that kind of stuff. I tried to talk them out of it, but it didn't work. Anyways, uh, so making a living in the arts, especially when you have four kids and family and, and all the other things is difficult. Setting out on a path where you don't know the end of it. You know, I heard one time the definition of, uh, of fine art is where you have an idea of where you're gonna go, whether it be sculpture, painting, writing, whatever it is. But then you let the work speak to you as you, as you do it. Just, why, why do you do what you do? I have no idea. That <laughs> really. I mean, on a practical plane, I you know doesn't make any sense. But I love doing it. I can't stop. It's like people ask me, "Are you going to retire?" And it's like, "Am I going to retire from breathing?" You know, I don't know whether I never work or I work all the time. Work is living. That's and that's the beauty of it.